So this is probably gonna be one of the worst mounts I've ever seen. What I did is I modified this, I, I grinded it in the corner, the grinder, to clearance it, so that this piece can sit here. And then I can have this straight up and down. And I can just rotate this. Uh, this original knob was one of these, and it would not lock this no matter what. Um, the telescope would always slip. Um, I got this with the weights removed. This is something I fabbed up. These are spacers from a lift kit for a truck. Um, one of these is kind of not good because I think the previous owner bent it. But I'm using a, a telescope that was on a go mount. And so when you have it like this, the telescope is not in the right position for the focuser. So I decided to make this. And here's a, another issue with this telescope mount. This hits right here. So if you rotate this that far, it's gonna hit that wheel. So it's just a really poor design altogether. So anyway, this just comes with the Astro Masters mostly and a lot of times these will break. So I, I made a piece down here. Um, but this is the only thing I have that has a dovetail mount and I've got three dovetail scopes. So we can put it like this when we want to use the Astro Master. And then we can put it like this when we want to use the 102 GT or the 90 GT, which are originally supposed to be on go-to mounts. But um, we don't have the controller for the go-to mount. So anyway, if you're looking for a solution on these, you can just get your grinder out and do that. And you'll have an, an alt azimuth mount because this isn't really suitable for eq mount it doesn't really work well